Hi everybody, John from Wire here. And in this video, we're going to learn how to add a GDPR message to your website using Google AdSense. It's important to note that what I'm gonna be talking about today, including GDPR, is not legal advice, and you should consult a legal consultant if you have any questions regarding any settings about your website, any requirements under EU law. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is on the left-hand side next to ads, is we're going to click on the pencil icon next to the website that we want to add the GDPR message to. Next, we can see a preview of our website uh, based on whether it's mobile or web. I'm going to switch to web in just a moment. All right, and now on the right hand side, you'll see the tab that says privacy messages. So what we're going to enable is the GDPR consent message. So let's turn this on. And in order to start collecting consent, we need to add our privacy policy URL. It is required to have a privacy policy. If you do not have a privacy policy like I do, I've included a link within the video description where you can download a template for yourself. So I'm gonna to go to my website and the privacy policy that I have. I'm just going to copy this URL and then paste it in the privacy policy URL. I'm also going to remove the triple W from the URL right there. Once I've done that and clicked on confirm, it's going to show me what the GDPR message is going to look like when a visitor from the EU uh, or the UK goes and clicks on my website and visits it. So it's going to ask for their consent and I have a few options on the right hand side. One of the options is that I can give them the ability to consent to collect information, do not consent, or manage their options when they visit my site. So I'm going to give them this option. You'll notice now that I've selected this bullet, it has the do not consent option for any user, as well as the manage options. If I change it to consent or manage options, the do not consent button goes away. So I wanna give visitors that option. Next, I'm going to go and click on apply to site. And now that it's applied, it's going to take about an hour to reflect on your site. Okay, so now that we've enabled the GDPR message on our site, we can go and customize what that GDPR message looks like and what it says in the privacy and messaging tab. So click on privacy and messaging on the left hand side, and then you'll notice that we have the GDPR option with a little gear icon next to it. So click on this gear icon, and it will take you into the GDPR settings page. For the most part, you don't need to modify any of the settings on this page, except for the last section here under message settings. So what this message settings option does is that it changes the GDPR message when it's showed to your visitors, depending on what information you collect and what information you're using for your own purposes. So let me give you an example. If you click on the pencil icon, there's a bunch of different purposes for information and ways that you can use a user's information when they access your site. So let me give you an example. Let's say that based on the information like a user's search history on your site, or how they navigate your website, you use that information to make a design change or to improve your product. You would select the develop and improve products option under consent. Now, what does this do? When you select develop and improve products consent, back on the GDPR message, you will have an option as a user to store and access information on a device, select basic ads, and develop and improve products. So what this does is that it tells the user that you're going to use their information for this purpose and the user can consent or they can automatically not consent to have you use that information in that way. So all of these different options on this page, they outline what that message will say to the end user. I would go through this and select each one of the different options that you're going to be using. For more information about the differences between consent and legitimate interest. It's a very technical legal term, 
but I'll include the link below to this link right here, which outlines what the differences between both of these are. If in doubt, always just select consent. That way a user can determine whether or not they wanna share that information with you for the purpose that you've defined on the left-hand side. So for me, I'm going to use the user's information to select basic ads, probably going to uh, select personalized ads for them, and maybe I'm going to measure ad performance with information as well. So once I've made my selection for all the different purposes, I'm going to click on confirm, and then I'll click on save. So what this means is when a user has visited your website before you may change these settings, they would have agreed to GDPR settings as they were before you made this change. Now that you've made the change and you've added additional details to your GDPR message, you probably want to reprompt those users with another GDPR request just so they can agree to those settings as well. So I'm going to reprompt all returning users. And now my GDPR message will change depending on the purposes that I've outlined in this setting here. There's one last section that you can change based on your GDPR message, and that is in the messages tab. This gives you an overview of the number of messages that have been shown to visitors from the EU and the UK, and what your consent rate is, AKA the users that have consented to sharing that information with you and with AdSense by default. So what you can do on this page is that you can edit the message style by clicking on edit next to the site. And this allows you to play around and modify what the text looks like, the different colors, and some other settings here. You can also change the default language that this GDPR message appears in. I'm gonna go and change the primary color from blue to maybe something a little bit more purple. Now if I click on save, you'll notice that I've made that setting as it's reflect on the left-hand side. Once you're finished with this, you can click on Publish Changes, and it'll take up to 10 minutes to show up on your website. And with this, you're pretty much set. If you want to go and test out your GDPR message, I'd recommend that you first wait an hour, and second, open your website using an incognito browser. I hope this helped, and if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks, and have a great day.